this video I shall show you how to correct bad colour in material shot under water. As we can see from this graphic, in natural light as depth increases the colour spectrum decreases in visibility. In average conditions, red is visible from 0 to 9 metres, orange to 14 metres, yellow to 18 metres, green to 24 metres, blue to 30 metres and purple to 36 metres. I have to say that there is no one-size-fits-all solution to colour correcting underwater images, whether it is video or stills. Each piece of media should be evaluated on an individual basis with no guarantee that you will actually get acceptable results. The only way to ensure correct colour is to either have one, colour correction filters in place at the time of shooting, although of course they too have a limit as to how well they work, as the deeper you go underwater, the less red from the visible spectrum is seen without artificial light. These are generally available for correction of either green water, such as the British Atlantic, the Mediterranean and lakes, quarries, etc., or blue water, which is usually seas where coral reefs are found, or two, artificial light, but that is really only feasible on subjects relatively near to the camera. We have two examples to correct, one is blue water, the other green. So let's start with a video clip supplied by Brett Thorpe of Dive Life, a retail scuba store near Manchester in England. Shot on a Canon 7D at Dorothea, an inland UK dive site, which is green water. Most HD cameras will record to .mts or .mt2s files and will need to be converted first to a high quality .avi, .mpg, .mpeg, .mp4, .m4v or .mov format for importing into Photoshop. Brett's clip is a .mov and that will import directly in. OK, so now we have Photoshop CS 5.5 open. I'm going to take the file that Brett's let us have and open it by doing File and Open. And we're already in the folder where the file is, so double click on it to bring it in. I'm just going to move it so that we can actually see it in its entirety as I'm working on a reduced size screen here. Uh, the most important thing with video in Photoshop is to make it into a smart object because when you apply filters and uh, plugins etc to uh, a video which is obviously a number of frames it will only do it to the frame you've got selected here in the timeline unless you make it a smart object. So to do that go here to the layers panel and right mouse click and bring up convert to smart object. Click on that and that's done. There are a number of ways you can actually correct colour with uh, Photoshop and the overall end result will differ uh, depending on the order in which you carry out the changes. Here I'm going to show you a, a couple of ways, two ways that will give reasonable results. So the first thing to do is to go up to layer and adjustment layer and for this one we'll go photo filter. Don't worry about this one, just click OK. Up comes a dialog box and we've got uh, a warming filter at the moment. We want to go down to magenta because magenta is the colour correction filter you use under water for green. And I want to bring that up to around 80%. You can either do it there or with the box. Make sure you've got preserve luminosity checked there. Uh, the next one is go back to layer, new adjustment layer and channel mixer. Click OK. Here we have the output channel of red selected and what I want to do is take some pixels from the green channel. Uh, you won't notice much difference in this one uh, but when we do the next version you'll see a, m a more uh, marked result. This is just taking a slight tint off. Uh, back to layer again and new adjustment layer and this time exposure. Click OK on that and I want to change the gamma for this one and I want to highlight that and on my keyboard put in 0.79. Now as I scroll through here you'll see that's quite a nice colour there, good white balance on the card. Um, the bubbles also don't have too much uh, uh, highlights and the little Santa Claus that's sitting here he's uh, quite nicely colour corrected as well. Well that's it for this particular version of colour correction. Uh, I won't render that out right now but uh, what we'll do is we'll go back to the beginning and start off with the bare footage. Don't forget to convert it to a smart object and this time I'm going to go layer, new adjustment layer, 
channel mixer first, so click OK there, and this time I'm going to put about 71% um, in of uh, green. If you can't put it in by dragging it, put it in manually. Whoops, there we go. Uh, and then we'll go back to layer, new adjustment layer, photo filter again, click OK, and magenta, and this time I'm going to have 20% density. And then finally again, new adjustment layer, exposure, click OK, and 0.79% of gamma there. Now this time, as you can see, there is a slight sort of yellow cast to the, the whiteboard there. And as we go through, uh, the bubbles here have got a bit of a, a magenta cast from where they're hit by light. And poor old Santa Claus at the end, well, he's a little bit washed out there, and uh, a little bit on the yellow side. Still acceptable from what we started with, but um, I'm going to now show you how to render out. OK, so now we've got our colour corrected video, we want to render it out, so we go to File, drop down to Export, and then to Render Video. Up here there's a dialog box which is highlighted, I'm going to change that to Corrected Video. The folder's already selected. Now the main thing here is to select the QuickTime Export and QuickTime Movie. There are other options such as AVI and MPEG-4, but we want QuickTime Movie. Go to Settings, and up to this one which says Settings, and we want to have Compression Type H.264. Uh, change that to Current, which is whatever your camera recorded it as, and for the compressor quality we want to drag that all the way up to Best. Next we want Encoding, set to best quality multi-pass, not the faster encode single pass which is a little bit inferior. So we click OK on that, and this one we click OK on as well, and now we get render, so click that, and the little uh, timer will come up, and uh, depending on how fast your machine is, uh, it will take a little while to render out. We've now got the dialog box telling us that it's exporting the video. What we'll do is we'll stop it here and I'll show you the end result, and then we'll come back and do blue water colour correction. OK, we're back in Adobe uh, Photoshop, and I've already got open the next video clip, which was in Barbados, obviously in blue water. Uh, this has been converted from an MTS file uh, to a AVI. So, let's get started. First of all, remember to convert this to a smart object by going uh, Layers and right-click, and that's it, the smart object. And this time I'm going to go Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Channel Mixer, click OK, and here I want to go with the green slider up to 93%. That might sound like a lot, but you can see here that's brought an awful lot of colour back in there, hasn't it? Um, I think that's quite nice, uh, so we'll go with that. And again, Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and Photo Filter, click OK. Now this time, we don't have a correction filter for the colour we want. So what I'm going to do is click on that, and down the bottom here, I'm going to type in FD2B04, and click OK, because that's a kind of orangey filter. Now this is just a very subtle effect I want on this, and I'm going to drop this down to just 10% and you might not think it's very much, but it just takes out a little bit of a blue tint there. Okay, so we've got that. Um, now we go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and Exposure again. Click OK. Back to my Gamma Correction and 0.79. That's looking quite nice. Quick uh, scroll through there, good colour there. I think what I'm going to do there, though, also, is just add one more layer for this one, New Adjustment Layer, and this time Vibrance. 
click OK there and I'm going to up the vibrancy to around 24% on that and just see how that brings that out. I think you'll agree that that looks rather dramatic. I'll now render out this clip and let you see the end result of that. So that's the result of colour correcting for blue water. I'm sorry it wasn't the best composition to use but it was actually the best in terms of an example of blue water correction. And here we have all four clips together as the before and afters. Remember though that each clip should be treated on an individual basis and may need more adjustment than I've shown in this video. You can add other processes as well to improve the look. Don't be afraid to have a go. Play with settings and see what you can come up with and let us know. Post a video response. I'd like to see what you've come up with. I do hope you've found this video of use and interest. And if so, please comment, rate and subscribe. <laughs>